Hello everyone, myself Arpit and I welcome you on my channel. Today I am going to discuss transition processing and stored procedure. These both topics comes under JDBC. So our first topic is transition processing. Question arises, what is transition? Transaction is a set of actions to be carried out as a single atomic action. That means either all of the action are carried out or none of them are. To understand this better, I am taking an example that will make you clear. Suppose a movie ticket booking is a transaction. This task contains four operations, verify seats, reserve seats, payment and issue ticket. If all these operations are done successfully, then a transaction is finished successfully. In the middle, if any one operation is failed, then all operations are cancelled and finally a transition is failed. Every transition follows asset properties. A stands for atomicity, means all operations done successfully. C stands for consistency, means reliable data. I stands for isolation, means separation between two transitions. And D stands for durability, means after transition data is stored as permanent unit. In JDBC, connection interface provides method to manage transaction. First is set auto commit. It means each transition is commit by default. Second is commit. It commits the transition. Third is rollback. It cancels the transition. Now let us see an practical example to make it clear. Here is the program. I have imported java.sql package. Then here I have created a class in which main method is defined. Inside the main method, I have established a connection with the database. Here I have used the set auto commit method and set as false because I don't want transition commit by default. Inside the try, I have executed all my SQL queries. Then I have used call commit method of connection interface. After this, in the catch block, I have created another try block Basically, if above try block execute all queries successfully, then print transition is success. Otherwise, control goes to this catch block and here rollback method will make the database as initial one. First, I want to show you the database here. See, there is a single entry. Now, let run the program and see what will happen. The second query does not execute, then rollback method is called and set the database as previous one. That's why our transition got failed. Our second topic is stored procedure. So, stored procedure are created to perform one or more DML operations on databases. It is nothing but the group of SQL commands that accept some input in the form of parameters and perform some tasks. In Java, callable statement interface is used to call the stored procedures. Here, to get the instance of callable statement, the prepared call method of connection interface is used. To call the stored procedure, we need to create it in the database. So let us take an example to clarify this topic. Here I have created a procedure having name insert R. Here I have created a procedure having name insert R. This procedure will insert ID and name to the table which is mentioned here. Now we are going to call the stored procedure using our Java program. Here we have created connection with the database and we pass name of the procedure into the prepare call method and using the callable statement object we have insert id and name to the database here a stored procedure receive id and name as the parameter and insert into the table now let us see the values are inserted into the database or not
and here our program runs successfully. Well, that's all I have for you today. If you have any doubt, you can comment out in this video. I will try to solve your doubt as fast as possible. Thank you for watching. Like this video and also share with your friends and family members.